team loves this South Dakota car racing. Uh, you know, I grew the body off of here. You know, we had to build something again, so we got another body exactly the same. I haven't had a chance to paint it yet. Don't know if we're going to go back with the same paint scheme or do something different. I'd actually kind of like to go with the 77 Pontiac body because I had one of those, you know, when I was racing in 1977. So uh, I don't know exactly what we're going to do with it, but we're back out here racing. It's, uh, it's bigger and better than ever. You take a look at the number of cars that are out here. Uh, the people that show up, it's pretty darn exciting. Mine or in general? Mine probably actually was the one that we based the first nostalgia car off of. Uh, my two, uh, my 1973 Dodge Charger or Challenger, sorry, Challenger, the uh, yellow one with the red flames. I, I like that car a lot. Uh, there was just there's a few bad memories attached to that. You know, some thing, some things that were supposed to happen that didn't happen. Uh, some some people that I considered friends that uh, you know kind of sabotaged me. And and so yeah, I liked the car. It was a good car. It ran well. It ended up in Australia. You know, I, I think it's still running over in Australia, not as not with the Z body on it, but with something else. But you know, uh, Stephen Jimmy Reed had it for a lot of years, held the top alcohol funny car record with it forever, and uh, yeah, that was a good car. I really liked it. But you know, between the fact that a few things happened building it that I don't like to remember real well, and the great big fire in Orange County, you know. Those are kind of negatives for that car. Obviously, I really like the paint job we had on the other one. It was probably the most photographed Nostalgia Funny car out here just because, A, number one, it actually looked like a Nostalgia Funny car, not like some of them that we have out here that look like Pro Mods. Uh, and also, it's just kind of an old-fashioned paint job that, you know, with flames and everything, it looked pretty cool. But it, that, the paint job like that's a lot of work and a fair bit of money just for materials. So I don't know. I like they say, we're kind of in limbo on the whole deal, but we didn't want to miss the race, so we're out here in white. <laughs> so you're pretty much a no-nonsense, uh, leather helmet, football kind of guy. <laughs> Is that the way you are with your drag racing? I love the idea uh, of the Nostalgia Funny Car class when I first started doing it back in, in 2009. Uh, I thought the rules were written pretty good. In big bold letters said, must be period correct, pre-1979. Uh, and all of a sudden, you know, we built this car and you can take a look at it. It's got no side windows, it's got no spill plates, it's got no header cutouts, it's got no laid back windshield, it's got no aerodynamics on the wheel wells. You know, it's the way they were in 1970. Uh, most all the cars we got out here today have you know, have been modified in such a way, and I'm not saying it's terrible, but, and I'm not even saying they got a huge advantage as far as performance, but, uh, you know, I, I like it the way that it was. If we're going to have a nostalgia class, it ought to be a nostalgia class.